Uh, just quick recap of my last video. Uh, me and my buddies, we go pretty deep. God, motherfucking airplane. Uh, me and my buddies, we go pretty deep in the water. Uh, going dash deep ain't unheard of. Uh, that ain't that ain't bragging or anything. I don't care if you go deep or you don't go deep or you fucking go around. Nobody, nobody cares. I'm not bragging by any means at all. But I was having a problem with the check engine light, the power steering light, and the whole machine wanting to die underwater. Just cleaning up the gas pedal assembly. It ain't really like it used to be. There's no uh, cable assembly that attaches to pedal to the throttle body. It's just what you call a fly-by wire. Uh, sometimes the assembly gets all caked up with mud and dirt and uh, makes things hard to move, I guess. I'm assuming. I didn't really fucking know for sure. I just read about that on the internet and thought I'd give it a shot. I opened it up and sure enough it was packed full of dirt. So slide off this plug here. And then, then you got one. two, three 10 millimeter bolts, and then it looks like three real small torque screws to get it, uh, get it off. All right, now we got it off the, uh, off the frame up there that was mounted to. You got these two, or I'm sorry, three T15 torque screws. All right, those are out. Let's see what happens when we open this sucker up. Alright, I hope that shows up on camera. I can't really tell them in the sun. But I clean it out with just water and uh, let it air dry. And uh, before there's all sorts of mud caked up in here, dirt, and behind the behind the gas pedal back in there. I took it apart. Actually I didn't even take it all the way apart. I just kind of peeled it back like that. And then uh, got me a hose in there. Washed all that out. And it was really, really easy. Now I'll just put it back together and uh, same way it came apart, obviously. There's three, there's three, the, the three torque screws and there's three little tits there that line up in these holes. And of course it was assembled in China. So, I mean, it's an incredibly easy job. I'm sure some little nine year old Chinese girl put this together. So I guarantee you can it's a piece of cake don't take it to the dealer for this shit now to fill that plug up with dielectric grease right there and then uh, take those 10 millimeter nuts and bolt it all back together easy peasy uh, like I said I don't I don't have any way to go and test these theories about the gas pedal or the O2 sensor I don't think my neighborhood HOA would like me driving into their pond to test it out I will test it out here shortly. Uh, like I said, I just read it on Facebook and the forums, and I hope it, I hope it works. Uh, it's a pretty shitty feeling to to see your bike stall underwater or think it's going to stall underwater. Uh, you know your ride's just about over usually. If that happens, you got to flush out the engine and all that other shit. Here, I'll show you my fuse box into the uh, dry box deal too. Oh, that's pretty messy. Pretty dirty in here, but anyways, you get the point. Uh, I did a video on how to do this. I'll post that down below. Uh, pretty much just my fuse box. It's 99.9% uh, .9 waterproof. Some water still gets in there through the wire loom. Uh, but once I did that, no more check engine light and power steering light when it got wet. That's a pretty good idea. I'll post that video down below. And this fits that box right there from Walmart. I think it's like six dollars. Fits perfect in there. That job was pretty easy, really freaking easy. Uh, not hard at all. 
if uh, you like my videos and, and uh, you want to see more, click subscribe and click that little bell next to my name so you get alerts whenever I upload a new video. Uh, helps me out a bunch and makes it easier to do lots more videos. Uh, thanks a bunch, y'all. Bye.